He says, speak Lord, for his servant is listening. Now to the story. It was a peaceful night. Priest Eli was sleeping soundly. And so was Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel heard someone calling him. He was so sleepy. He didn't really hear who was calling. It must be Priest Eli, he thought. Quickly, he jumped out of bed and went to Priest Eli. Here I am. Is there anything to need? Priest Eli opened his eyes. I didn't call you. Go back to sleep, Samuel. Samuel did, as he was told. Soon he was sound asleep. Samuel, Samuel! The Lord called again. Samuel, set up! I wonder who that is, he thought. Maybe it's Priest Eli. Samuel hurried to Eli's bedside. Here I am. Is there anything you need? I didn't call you, my son. Go back to bed. Samuel walked slowly to his bed. He was sure someone had called him. If it was not Priest Eli, then who could it be? Samuel did not recognize the Lord's voice because he had never heard it before. Samuel, Samuel, the Lord said for the third time. And once again, Samuel hurried to please Eli. Here I am. Is there anything you need? Suddenly, Reese Eli realized who was calling. Go back to bed. And if you hear the voice again, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. The Lord wants to talk to me? Could the Lord really be calling me? Samuel must have thought excitedly. He went back to bed, but this time his eyes were wide open. He waited, he listened. Samuel, Samuel, the Lord called again. And Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. The Lord smiled. Even though Samuel was still a child, he would listen to God. Samuel truly wanted to be God's helper. God is also calling you and talking to you today. He wants you to be his helper too. You can know what God says when you read the Bible, when you listen to your parents, or even when you see nature. Remember, we serve God when we listen to his voice.